My name is Daniel Holmes and I live in Port Elizabeth and I go to Great Junior School. I've made a saltwater lamp so that students can use it to study by at night without risking their lives using candles and paraffin lamps and illegal connections. The Science Expo is very important for the boys. I say boys because I teach at a boys' school. It takes the boys beyond the school curriculum. It really focuses them on finding solutions, on hypothesising, on doing experiments, which is not often done at school. I wanted to do a project that contributed to the society. I was reading up on newspapers and in the internet and I was reading up about clean water and um, the electricity problems and load shedding and I was, then I found this interesting article about shack fires and all the related deaths to shack fires and I decided I that I wanted to get a positive alternative to um, candles and paraffin lamps and even connections that cause shack fires. So it would need to be safe, simple and cost effective. He was looking at something um, that was very relevant in today's society and it was something that he could work with. And um, when he Googled everything and come with the solutions, I was so excited with him. The important aspect that I teach the boys is to hypothesise. Look at something, ask a question, and try and solve um, that question that you're asking by either doing experiments or looking up or asking people about it. I tested three different metal uh, combinations with three different salt levels. And then after my scientific test, I went along on a design uh, process. I've got a little board here of the design process. So this is the LED box that I would use with three LEDs here at the bottom. Um, and then this would be my one cell of my design one. Um, it is 10.5 centimeters long and I would have seven of these cells. Um, it lit the light, but it wasn't bright enough. Um, where I tested the impact of adding a vinegar and the impact of adding a additional surface area. The whole experience was a highlight, it was amazing. I was able to show my project to some, the Minister of Science and Technology, Mrs Pondo. I got to meet other learners and the other, see other learners' projects. It was overall just amazing. It's changing my life a lot. I've learned so much out of it. The actual process has taught me so much things that school can't teach you. The, the projects excite the boys terribly. Um, in the second and third term I have this hype in my classroom and after school I have boys coming in asking questions. We Google a lot, um, we look for solutions, um, I give them a lot of advice and um, that is what they enjoy. Mrs. Boerta and Mrs. Gibbs, who's a teacher at NMMU University, gave brilliant support and helped me throughout the way. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents for just giving me that supportive boost. We saw ourselves as being there to support Daniel, but also just to be a sounding board for him. So if he had ideas, just to bounce it off mom and dad, just to check that whatever he did was going to follow a scientific method, that the results that came out of the testing would be reliable. I um, know he's, he's a, a person who never gives up, and so he did reach his goal, and so that's when I'm really proud of him. So I like science because everything is science. It, it's science, you figure out how things work and how things are created. I think Daniel's always had a fascination with how things work. Um, if ever we had an appliance that was beyond repair, Daniel would always beg to pull it apart and examine the insides and how it worked. And my kitchen counters used to look like a workshop. And science is important, but I also do other stuff. I swim, I play hockey. Um, I do open water swimming in the sea, I play chess. My role model would probably be Elon Musk because he's not just talking about doing great things, he's actually doing them. 
So one invention that the world needs right now, I think, would be a power station that creates electricity without using fossil fuels and can also desalinate water in the process. I love the Science Expo. This year has been very rewarding. Six boys from grade junior were selected to go to internationals and all six of those boys came back with a medal. So I'm very proud of their efforts.